Good morning, everybody. May 10th. We are in the second week of May already. It is 6.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. All right, we got some pretty decent warm temperatures we are waking up to this morning. Uh, check this out down near uh, south eastern california we got arizona in there nevada and utah look at some of these temperatures they're waking up to this morning 85 81 a little cooler down in florida gulf coast is looking fairly mild right now perfect spring weather northeast i could deal with this all day long pretty big of a drastic difference 70 degrees uh, near watertown and buffalo and then down in the philadelphia and even the north east area of Pennsylvania we're in 50s so high 50s so we're talking a good 10 12 degree difference uh, over about a 200 mile stretch uh, not a big deal we do have two systems we're watching right now plus um, we got some pretty solid info on a uh, one of our first hurricanes of the season in the Atlantic Ocean actually forming in the Caribbean just like Hurricane Nate did last year uh, some of the strongest data we've had uh, this year so far, by far. Uh, this thing shows a straight-up hurricane rolling up through Cuba and then coming up the west coast of Florida and then into the Panhandle, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Louisiana area. We're going to look at that uh, momentarily. Uh, we're looking at a front right now. This is a live lightning chart moving its way into western New York, western Pennsylvania. We are already over top of West Virginia. Uh, you could back that up into Ohio, Indiana, and then down into Kentucky, Tennessee. And then that front moves all the way back through Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma. And then just that north uh, west area of Texas as well that just passed over. As this thing makes its way nor uh, west to east, we are going to see um, some decent wind and rain in the northeast as early as today. Uh, some of this rolls in, but it may be something that happens overnight tonight into Friday. Uh, we'll probably mess up some of our weekends, unfortunately, because it's been so nice and hot um, in the northeast lately. You just want to be outside, but uh, a lot of us work during the week and stuff of that nature, so we don't get re to really enjoy the weather. Uh, hopefully that will be coming soon, nicer days over the weekend, but this weekend does not look that way. Here are those two areas I'm talking about as far as severe weather. Uh, like I said, that that lightning we have right now is kind of right where this green line is, but then this is where they're predicting it's going to go. Um, we're going to look at our tornado index, 2% chance um, as you get into the middle of the country. This is part of Colorado right here, believe it or not. So 2% chance of tornadoes in Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas. Kansas, I can understand. Uh, not a big chance at all is basically what I'm saying here. Um, probably a less than a 2% chance in this area they've highlighted in the northeast. Definitely possible, though. We, uh, we've had some conversations about some New York tornadoes that still have damage lines. Uh, you can see to this day along the Sawmill Parkway, stuff uh, like that. Uh, here's our wind areas, 15% chance of wind. Um, higher wind rates in these areas here, 5% a little bit lower. That stretches down to northern Texas where we have that lightning right now. And once again, that front moving west to east will cause some wind. Um, it will be pretty significant, some of this wind, once it gets closer to the ocean. And some of those bands can get out into the Atlantic and refuel this thing, pulling up moisture, as always, from the Gulf area. And then we need to really look out in the Gulf, guys. We're talking May... 17th, 18, 19, 20 is our target area to watch for this uh, possible tropical storm. And then Category 1, and then as of right now, the data is showing a possible Category 3 storm as it gets right to the Panhandle and to that southern area of Mississippi and Alabama. So um, this is our first pretty significant watch. Let's check out our current continental U.S. weather um, and in motion on tropical tidbits. This is current time right now. We have that low pressure system causing some wind near Massachusetts. Uh, pretty high waves going on right now. Not a lot of rain yet because that front is backwards a little more. Uh, but as we move forward through the day Thursday today, um, beginning of Friday is when the rain is going to be in the northeast uh, covering New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, you name it, the entire Northeast is going to be a little wet uh, starting Friday, possibly again overnight tonight. Um, as we move forward, we have another low pressure system that seems to have that severe weather over top of it, which is going to move through Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, and then through Indiana near the Great Lakes. So through the weekend, we need to keep an eye on this. There's Friday. Here's Saturday. we got some severe weather in New York, 
Pennsylvania, and that strip just wants to backtrack all the way to possibly some snow in higher elevations in Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. So again, that would be May 12th with another low pressure system underneath it. That may eventually, actually let's check it out, it'll probably draw up moisture at some point. And there you have it. It starts bringing up moisture from Mexico. Once it gets to Texas, it begins to wrap that moisture around. This is when we start to see that upflow of moisture from the possibility of this uh, tropical system we're going to be dealing with, just like Nate. If you guys remember Hurricane Nate, that thing beelined right through the gap here between Cancun and Cuba, and it came straight up, basically right through the Panhandle, Mississippi, Alabama, and basically went straight up the country. A very interesting storm, one of the fastest moving storms we've ever seen. In fact, I think it was the fastest storm we've ever seen. And then this is when things are going to get interesting. This chart right here brings us to May 16th. Um, if we were down, like, as in... On this chart, we're going to be able to see a hurricane right here, and we're going to look at that in one second. But uh, by the time we hit uh, Wednesday, May 16th, going into mid-next week, we do have very spotty, severe weather uh, that could be the beginning of um, a significant front that makes its way northeast, just as we are dealing with a possible tropical situation moving up from the tropics into the Gulf. So yes, this could turn out to be a Gulf hurricane, guys. So... We're going to look at that shortly. Here's the Doppler of today's weather. We can kind of get an idea. This is the flow that is moving west to east as of right now. And as we move forward, check it out. That's when it gets serious. You can see it's not really much right here. But then as it reaches that border of Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska, that's when things get interesting. It begins to blow up in that area. All right, so that's it for today's weather as far as the continental U.S. This is our mimic chart we like to watch. Um, you notice how this band here... Uh, about a month ago, the top of these orange colors came to about here. So now we get our, we our uh, west to east flow coming from the west coast of Africa. Once you get that perfect straight line from the Leeward Islands all the way back to the west coast of Africa, you know it's time for hurricane season because these things come down right here. They get caught right in this area and they just flow this way. And then depending on the jet stream and the high pressure in the Atlantic Ocean, they will go up. They will go into the Gulf, or they will kind of settle down in this area. Um, whichever way it goes, it will affect the U.S. So this is where our hurricane season begins. This is where we need to be on our toes about all this stuff, because what I'm going to show you now is what is predicted to begin May 18th. So we can see here's the 19th. We'll back up one more step here. Now, I want you to watch down by uh, Nicaragua. Uh, we're talking San Jose and Panama. That's where this thing's going to originate, right around here, right where Hurricane Nate originated. This is Friday, as in one week uh, from tomorrow, we need to start watching out for this because this thing develops very quickly. You can see it pop up right there past Honduras, and then it's moving right up to Cuba. It wants to beeline right straight to Cuba. Pressure drops to about 986. This could be tropical storms uh, weather right here, even Category 1. Uh, and then watch this. It goes right to the southern tip of Florida. That will affect areas of Miami and basically all the way up through Lake Okeechobee. And then this is pretty interesting here, guys. This thing hooks around the top of Florida, basically skimming the west coast. And then it moves right into the panhandle area, refuels itself. We get our lowest pressures that we have for this storm. 979 there, 977, 971. This has the potential to be a Category 3 storm, and then look at the areas that are going to be affected by it. Louisiana, we have Alabama and Mississippi, and then the Panhandle of Florida. Um, actually, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle of Florida, and then this is where the data ends. This is May 26, so between the 18th and the 26th, we need to be... Uh, very closely watching the Caribbean and the Gulf area because this is the most prominent data we have received this year for the possibility of a tropical depression, then a storm, then a hurricane. Uh, we do have current invests right now in the Pacific Ocean, which we looked at yesterday. This has not been named as an invest yet because we are just about a day and a half out of that five-day prediction zone. So we need to keep an eye on that. Obviously, I will keep you updated um, thoroughly about this storm. So um, you can even see by the 18th and 19th that Ventu Sky begins to pick this up uh, right in the southern Caribbean area, and then we just need to watch and see what happens from there, guys. So uh, we're there. We are at hurricane season. It is time to keep an eye out for these storms. They could start forming overnight, basically. You could go to sleep, no tropical depressions. You can wake up, and there could be two or three of them. So that's how this works. Pretty significant 
uh, earthquake in Tajikistan. Uh, that is 6.2. That was uh, overnight last night, I believe. And then little spotty action going on throughout the world. And then, of course, Hawaii still rumbling, still dealing with major issues with lava and volcano um, uh, volcano eruptions, basically. Uh, this entire side of the big island is just like under dire strats at this moment. So we'll look into that too. Uh, this afternoon we'll look more into the earth, the uh, earthquakes and stuff like that. And we are officially 21 days, 17 hours, 39 minutes, and 47 seconds away from the official start to the hurricane season. But according to the data we have right here, uh, that's going to start a little sooner than we had hoped. So there you have it, guys. If I backtrack this one more time, you can see where this storm starts. May 19th, I would say, would be the start time. That's when the low starts. And then, boom, it is game time. So we'll keep an eye on this, guys. We'll talk this afternoon. If not, we'll meet back here tomorrow morning. Everyone have a great day. Week's almost over. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.